I'm just waiting it out like for the best affordable price I'm gonna be completely honest with you So what's good Coco Crew, I'm back with another video and as you guys read by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys my fall wish list. This is something a little different for me. Typically I show you guys a haul of stuff that I've purchased for the fall or spring, summer, winter, whatever. I will typically show you guys the items after I purchase it, but I was like, why don't I just let the girls know what I'm looking into buying this fall season. Some fall trends that I see coming and you guys love when I talk about fashion, like when I just sit down and just talk because you guys know I could talk for a really, really long time. So yeah, I just decided to show you guys like my fall wish list, some items that I'm really, really like interested in purchasing this fall. There's a big chance that I might purchase these items, but I just wanted to let you guys know because when I shop, I try to shop when the item is at a really, really low price or if it's about to be out of stock. And I don't want to do that. I really want to put the girls on this fall season. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Amina. I do beauty videos, fashion videos, vlogs, basically a little bit of everything on this channel. So if you're interested in seeing any that please feel free to subscribe and before we get into this video let me know what are some pieces that you're like gunning for this fall because i love talking about fashion i just love looking at clothes like i can literally look at clothes eight hours out of the day you'll just comment it down below so we're gonna go bags shoes and then clothing just because i don't have that many bags that i'm like really really eyeing this fall but i have a lot of like shoes and clothing pieces that i'm eyeing so first bag that i know for sure i'm getting this fall season is the fendi montrejour i hope i'm saying it properly but in the brown zuka print i love this bag you guys know i'm just now getting into like the designer handbags and stuff like that this bag was always going to be a bag that i was going to purchase it just wasn't the right time for me to purchase it. I just got my first designer bag in February and then uh, springtime was coming up. So I was like, this is more of like a fall winter bag. So let's purchase it during fall and winter. It's fall and winter and we're about to get this bag. I love this bag so much. It is a bucket bag and I can see myself easily dressing this up and dressing this down. Everybody that I've seen with this bag has just styled it so effortlessly and it's just such a beautiful bag. I love the brown. I love the black. I love the gold elements of it. I can literally wear all black, right? all black even a black booty throw this bag on it just elevates the look completely even though it is a monogram print it doesn't give gaudy it doesn't look cheap and i think i will get the crossbody strap to go with this so i can wear it on a more casual basis night out date night whatever i'm throwing this bag on i see myself wearing this bag a lot this fall so that's why i'm like i need to get this bag like this is a bag that i really really want and i know i'm gonna get it i have my ysl here and i literally wear that bag 24 7 so i know i'm gonna get a lot of wear out this bag just because of the colors the style and everything it is 1950 excluding tax i'm assuming probably might get to like 21 or 2200 depending on which state i buy it from if i buy it from jersey or if i buy it from new york it just depends on where i buy it from so it is a cute coin but i really do see myself getting my cost per wear out of this so definitely something that i'm really eyeing the bag that i'm eyeing is by goyard you guys know i love me some goyard goyard to go home period i love me some goyard as you guys can see this is my first goyard bag right there and i was actually going to be purchasing two more goyard bags this summer it just didn't work out when i went to the store they didn't have the specific color or they didn't have the specific style and they were like i would have to wait a month and i'm just like do i really want this bag especially since i bought a colored bag already and not saying that i rarely wear it I just don't reach for it as much. So I was like, let me hold off on purchasing any more colored bags from Goyard right now because I don't know how often I would reach for the bag. But don't get me wrong, I still love my um, Muse Vanity, the blue, I love it. It's such a fire statement bag. I love that bag, so not get me wrong, but I just don't reach for it as much. But I definitely do want a tote. I've always loved Goyard totes. Ever since I was in middle school, high school, seeing a girls walk around with their Goyard bags, I was like, damn, like my parents was not dropping $1,200 dollars on a bag they were barely dropping 200 on a Tory Burch for me so if I wanted this bag I had to get this bag on my own and I really love the St. Louis GM bag I think it's just such a beautiful tote bag I do want a bigger bag and I feel like this is the perfect bigger bag I love the style of the bag and I know that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it a work bag school bag travel bag it's something that I know that I'm going to use a lot currently the bag that I use for almost all of that like work travel school is my Telfar the black large one and I like that bag don't get me wrong the one 
one thing that I don't like about it is that I can't wear it as a shoulder bag. I'm talking about wearing it as a regular tote, not that long strap because that long strap hits like my knees. It's just so freaking annoying. And I do like that bag. I still would probably reach for it for travel purposes. This is more so if I'm going on vacation, vacation, and I just need like a cute little tote bag to carry my personal items my laptop and everything or work bag when i put my laptop go edit or whatever that's really what i want this bag for um if you guys don't know goyard doesn't list their prices online you have to go into an actual goyard store to get the price information but i believe this is like 2200 if i'm not mistaken um I, I don't think it's more than 25 for sure though but the last time i was like really really looking into it i think it was like 18 or something i'm really not too sure but i'll call them tomorrow morning actually and just ask them what's the price because they'll let you know over their phone but goyard only allows you to purchase in store so that's that's that like you can't purchase this bag online but i would like to get it in its classic colors black and gray with the brown trim it's really classic but fashionable and i really like that so the next bag that i'm like looking at but i don't think i'm gonna get is just really like a wish list item is this lueve puzzle bag it is the color black one and it has like different shades of green on it i love this bag i feel like this is the perfect fall bag but i'm just being real myself i don't know how often i would reach for this bag specifically just because I mean, honestly speaking, I think I would reach for it a lot because I do have a lot of camo, a lot of like olive green. I can, you know, style this bag very, very easily. It is still a wish list bag because this is not something that I've been eyeing for a really long time. Um, so if I do purchase, it will be very, very impulsive. I want this to like sit with me for a while, but I have been looking at the Loewe puzzle bags for a really, really long time now. I love the silhouette. I just love the style and I love the colorways that they offer. So I was just like, mm, I don't know what puzzle bag to get because they have so many fire colorways. I just don't know which one I want to get but when I saw this green one I was like this is right up my alley perfect for fall but I just don't know if I'm gonna get it so next up we're going into shoes I've been wanting these shoes for the past four years for the past four years they're either always sold out or I just could never get my hands on them and it's the Mason Margiela tabby boot this is not gonna be for everybody it's a freaking cow hoof on a boot like you know what I'm saying this is not gonna be for everybody but this is right up my alley and it just screams fashion girl and I just love this boot so much I really want the black or the tan I'm leaning more so towards the tan just because I have other black boots that I would like to purchase and I have so many black boots and I like it Nordstrom got it for $990 and they have my size so I just I just might get it real soon. Like I said, this is not going to be for everybody. I know it's not going to be for everybody, but this is what I want. And since I really want the tan, I can wear it with denim. I can wear it with leather pants since it is fall. Like, I can see myself really wearing these shoes. I really want to go and try them on to see what size I am. This is a shoe that I've been wanting for four years. So next up is the girl's fave winter boot. It's a Givenchy Shark Lock boot. But I will get the ankle version just because I got thick calves. And I'm not even going to sit here and play myself and get the knee highs i'm just not i'm not even gonna sit here and try to like you know source them no i'm not doing it i don't have the patience to stretch those boots to my calves so so i've been looking into the booty version it doesn't give the same vibe it doesn't the knee high boot is just it for me like it's really it for me but it cannot fit my calves and the skinniest of girls struggle getting out of them so i'm like imagine me come on you get what i'm saying like i'm not even doing that to myself i'm not doing that to myself at all and i do know different brands make dupes to it i actually purchased a dupe like last year from ego and i'm gonna be completely honest i hated it just because it looked cheap like i'm gonna be real it looked cheap the leather looked cheap it was slouchy it just looked very flimsy and if i'm gonna get a dupe of something i wanted to give the same quality just at an affordable price point when i say same quality i'm talking it looks expensive it's just not expensive and every dupe that i've come across for these specific boots just have not been doing it for me at all um i feel like the one brand that i will purchase a dupe of this boot from is steve madden I don't know what Steve Madden has, but any dupe that Steve Madden has on their website looks identical to the real thing. They just either change the heel height or change like a very, very minor thing, but it does not look cheap. The quality is there and that's what I want in a dupe. So if Steve Madden makes this boot, I'm a copy. I'm a definitely copy. But for me personally, I prefer my dupes to have their own twist to it. I, like I don't want the boot to try to look like, oh, it's supposed to be a Givenchy, but it's not a Givenchy boot. This is just my preference. Like I want the boot to have that fold over detail, but have its own twist to it. Um, I don't want it to look like, yeah, like 
it's something that it's not i don't know that's just me um that's how i feel that's just how i feel that's what i like in my dupes i don't want it to give like it's a replica of it no shade to anybody that wear replicas i really don't care like i really don't care i'm just saying i prefer a certain look to my dupe and speaking of steve madden the next boot that i have to show you guys is the priyanka purple by steve madden and this is the perfect dupe to the balenciaga knife boot i think no is it the knife boot let me make sure it is the perfect dupe to the balenciaga purple essex boot y'all last winter this boot had me in a choke cold everybody that i saw wear it literally bodied it like it was just such a beautiful boot like it's a fashion girl boot price point was just crazy and it was sold out everywhere because all the girls was getting it even if i had the chance to buy it i would not have bought it especially that metallic purple that was a fire boot y'all i'm on steve madden website i see that they have an exact dupe to this boot i was like i have to get this boot i have to get this boot and it's only 150 dollars, you guys and you can use afterpay oh yeah it's up and the calf width is 15 inches whereas on the balenciaga ones i believe they're like 12 inches so you have to have a really really small calf to wear those not only is it you know mid-size calf friendly it's also affordable and it literally is the perfect dupe i think the heel height is a bit taller on the steve madden pair but that's the only difference that i see it's such a pretty boot i can't wait to get these because the look i will pull with these is just mm, fire like and the reason why i wouldn't spend so much money on this boot is because i wouldn't get much wear out of it so it's like why am i spending almost two thousand dollars on a boot if i'm probably gonna wear like two three times max like come on that makes no sense so i would rather spend 150 dollars and get my looks out of them but the next boot that i'm looking at is by jeffrey campbell i love me some jeffrey campbell jeffrey campbell shoes are so unique and affordable and i really really do love that about them i've been loving jeffrey campbell since like 2017 and they are wide calf friendly they have some boots that go up to like a 17 inch calf width which is like really really big the boot that i'm looking at by jeffrey campbell is blue jean and this is a sickening boot this is a sickening boot i don't know i love denim you guys know i love me some denim and i definitely do see denim being a trend again this fall it was a trend last fall with diesel i called that in 2020 but hey um yeah with diesel i i told y'all diesel is making a comeback like i wish i didn't archive that video but i've been loving diesel for a while now and seeing everybody get into diesel i was like damn like you know like not i'm not not even trying to be like oh, i'm a trendsetter or whatever who am i like what when i put out that video i think 500 people saw it but i'm just saying like yo like i i have an eye for these things sometimes and i'll be writing it in my notes like yo this is gonna be a trend this is gonna be this it's gonna be that and majority of times they really do come true so yeah but i love me a good denim moment and i love the color combo of this boot dark denim the dark brown leather accent it's just such a fire boot i really want to diy this dress that kylie jenner wore recently when she was on her birthday trip with the, like the multiple i think it's like the belts or whatever i don't know what she had going on but that dress is fire it was a denim dress but i see myself making a lot of looks with this i'm really here for it okay i think it's the last boot that i have to show you guys this boot is by hanifa this is the zoe boot this boot is so fire i was looking at it since last year and i believe it goes over the knee because i've seen some girls with bigger calves wear this and they just look amazing in it it's just such a beautiful boot and it's by a black owned brand hanifa it is 659 dollars i feel like i'm at a point in my life where i should get a designer heel that i wear often i'm going out date night i don't know something but i just want a more elevated sophisticated sexy shoe and i've been looking at the time for padlock heels for the longest the black and gold specifically just because it'll go perfectly with my YSL bag so why not i've been looking at these heels for a really long time and i really want to get them this fall you guys know i'm a sneaker girl it's no way that i'm not going to show you guys a sneaker that i want to get this fall so a sneaker that i've been looking at that i'm like pretty sure i'm going to get is the new balance 920 sand i just love the colorway of this i love the silhouette and i think it's just perfect for the fall when i just want to wear a cute casual sneaker this is the perfect sneaker it has so many different fall colors i can wear some blue jeans cargos whatever and it will still go with my vibe i love this sneaker i love me some new balances they're super duper comfortable but they do have it on essence for 265 i'm not too sure what was the retail probably like 200 but i just like the sneaker it's such a beautiful sneaker especially for the fall time every season i try to get a new pair of uggs i don't know what new york snow got in it but it just messes up your boots and they just look so dirty and like dingy after one winter not one winter i may be dragging it if you're not wearing it in the snow then it's not gonna look you know messed up but i'm wearing my uggs in the snow because they keep my feet warm so i'm gonna wear them in the snow walking or whatever so 
they get messed up. I don't like my Uggs have like that water stain on them. I don't, I don't like that. So I want to get another pair of Uggs. I want to get the classic mini two boot, um, preferably in like an olive green color. I don't know, cause I always do black, I always do tan. I was like, let me do something else, something different that'll still go with a lot, but just something out of my comfort zone. So probably like an olive green or like a sage green, probably not sage green, more so olive green, just because of the fact that I know myself, it does get messed up. It doesn't look too bad, but I just want a pair of Uggs for the winter time. I think this colorway is perfect. And yeah, but now we're on to uh, clothing pieces. I actually don't have that many clothing pieces, but just know I'm constantly adding onto this list. TikTok constantly keeps on putting me on and I'm going to constantly shop, okay? So the first piece that I'm for sure getting, John Paul Gaultier, is the Belay de Banque Sheer Top. This color, I love this. This top is just so fire. I love the colorway, I love the greens, the orange, I love it. You guys know I love JPG, so when I saw this, I was like, nah, I gotta get this. I have to get this, and imagine me wearing it with like a burnt orange leather pant. Oh, that's a sickening look right there. I didn't even finish where I'm gonna put my feet. I, didn't, I don't have to finish that. The burnt orange leather pant with this top, sickening, it's done, it's done for, like it's done for. I'll probably keep a neutral shoe, probably the tabbies, probably not the tabbies, I'm, I don't know. I have to see how it looks. I have to see how it looks. Let me make sure it go. Do it go? I gotta see how it looks. I know for sure I have a bag that goes with this shirt. I don't need to buy another bag, but like, or frip, I was like Vivian Westwood. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can see myself wearing this top multiple times. Farfetch currently has it for $353. The thing is, right, Farfetch, they do a lot of sales. They have a lot of coupon codes. So I'm really just waiting it out so I can get it at the best affordable price. I'm gonna be completely honest with you because I know that I can buy this top today for $353 and Farfetch will sell it again tomorrow for $289. And it's so annoying because it's like, what the heck? What was the reason? What was the reason? You know what I'm saying? So I'm just waiting it out. Like for the best affordable price. I'm going to be completely honest with you. But I'm getting this top. For sure, for sure. Okay. <laughs> so the next clothing piece that I want to get is actually some sweatsuits. You guys know I'm, I stay in sweatsuits for the winter. I don't care. I know some people are like, oh my gosh, you can't just stay in sweatsuits. Dress as your best self. I'm dressing as my best self. My sweatsuits aren't no basic sweatsuits. Like I know that. So the first sweatsuit that I'm looking at is by Alexander Wing T. I'll call gray one with a matching sweatpants. This is a really cute throw on sweatsuit. For me, I don't see it as a splurge because I do spend a lot of money on like Kith sweatsuits and they're around the same price range. Like a hoodie from Kith is like 165. This is 185, uh, but it's a crew neck. So I am used to spending some money on sweatsuits, hoodies, just because I that's that's just the price point of uh, sweatsuits and hoodies, like you know, good quality sweatsuits and hoodies. I don't know, I like this. Um, I was spending money on this. I like the sweatsuit set, I think it's real cute real casual wear to the airport whatever it's just gonna give a look the next item i've been looking at is by aritzia i love me some aritzia but aritzia is expensive as hell i did my shopping for aritzia last fall and it still has lasted me till today i don't constantly shop at aritzia because it can add up and there's some pieces that they sell there that i don't need to buy like you know what i'm saying like i could get that someplace else that'll you know actually flatter my body because i feel like they have a specific body type that they cater to i'm tall i'm curvy i usually don't get both in a clothing piece so yeah aritzia i like them for like their basic tops leather pants but i don't go in there oh my god i gotta get all my basics from aritzia because i don't need to i would probably go to uniqlo skims i don't know where else it's so many adidas adidas has really really good basics aritzia got some cute bottoms though and they have this cozy fleece mega cargo sweatpant i love me some cargos cargos make your butt look big if you don't have a butt the pockets on the back of a cargo pant just gives you a butt. Like, come on. Like, do y'all not understand that's why I wear them? Like, that's why I wear cargos. Like, I love cargos because they give me some figure. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm always being some cargos. But I like how they have a cargo sweatpant because I've never seen that before. And it intrigued me when I was on their website and I saw that. I was like, oh, I have to get this. Oh, I need to at least try it out. So I do have my eye on it. And I might purchase this soon just so I can try it out and let you guys know if I like it or not. But the thing is, I don't know if it's going to be long enough for me just because, like I said, I am a tall girl. I'm 5'8". I don't know if it's going to be tall enough for me. But I still want to try it out, you know? So the next and final clothing piece that I'm looking at is by Essentials. Yeah, I remember when I got my Essentials hoodie set? I was in that the whole winter. I was in that 
the whole winter y'all it was crazy um i'm looking at the off-white relaxed lounge pants i love the color i love how the pants fit they look really really good um and i just want to get them and they do have a matching crew neck with it depending on how good the pants fit i'll get the matching crew neck but if they don't fit i'm not gonna get the matching crew neck i'll just get another satsu set that's just me but yeah i love essentials in their black owned so definitely support and i almost forgot this last item i'm so sorry it's a montclair puffer i feel like i need a montclair now i live in new york i need a new coat um i have a pair of jumper for like heavy heavy duty like you know like it's real cold outside but i want something that's a bit more feminine not so heavy but it still keeps me warm this specific coat is the montclair mocha or mocha down coat super cute i think it's a cute coat and i think it's like 1200 or something like that or 15 i'm not too sure don't get me wrong you guys know i love me a good coat for the fall and winter time so best believe i'm gonna definitely get some fire statement coats for the fall and winter time but for right now i'm gonna just get a calm little montclair for like you know when it gets like 30 degrees 40 50 but yeah that's basically it you guys this is the end of the video um this is my fall wish list let me know if you guys are gonna cop any of the pieces that i showed you guys today and once again please let me know in the comments down below what are some pieces that you're looking at this fall and winter like i really want to know because y'all be putting me on so yeah this is it i love you julie so much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye